Hi, thanks for watching Food with Lynn. In this video I'm going to make chicken soup. Uh, and this is going to be a simple homemade chicken soup. It's not going to be the full complete homemade version. I'm actually going to use, uh, I was going to use some chicken broth, but I just don't have enough for as much soup as I want to make, so I'm actually going to use water and chicken bouillon cubes, which is kind of cheating. And in another video I will make chicken stock for you. But uh, this is just a really quick homemade uh, chicken soup and I'm using chicken breast tenderloins here that are boneless skinless and you can see from my vegetables I've got celery, I've got carrots, I've got onions, I've got a little bit of garlic and uh, might as well take this chicken broth out of the way because we're not going to use that. I'm going to use uh, chicken bouillon instead and I've got about three quarters of a gallon of water in here. Now my two different cutting boards, I'm going to use one cutting board for my chicken I'm going to use another cutting board for my vegetables, but just to get things started, I'm going to turn my burner on high, get things going there, and my tenders are pretty much, I like using these because, you know, you don't have to deal with the skin and the bone and all the other. So I'm just going to cut little pieces for my chicken and uh, put that in there, and let me get all this chopped up and put into the pot and then I'll start in on my vegetables. Be right back. I've cut my chicken up into tiny little pieces. I want to say half inch chunks. And now it's time to get to work on my vegetables. I'm using uh, regular celery here, just you know, full sticks and I'm going to cut those in half so that they're smaller pieces. And then I'm going to chop them down to size. I get baby carrots uh, I like those because they're clean, you don't have to peel them and mess around with them, and I use them in a lot of different things. So uh, that's what I had on hand and that's what I'm going to use right now. But I'm going to start out with my celery, I'm just going to cut it into tiny little, you know, about a third of an inch thick, and uh, put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and cut up my carrots, and I'm going to dice my onions and put all that in there and then I'm going to take a clove or two of this and this garlic and just uh, uh, mince it out real good and put that all in there waiting for all this to come to a boil. So I'll be right back with you as soon as I get these chopped up. Alright I got my celery done, I got my uh, carrots done, now I'm just working out the rest of my onions which I've just uh, cut the ends off, cut them in half and then I'm going to cut them down this way. Just pretty much rustic size pieces. I'm not going to make these too small or anything like that. As you can tell by the fact that I'm wearing a jacket, it's really cold in here. I live on a boat and it's really difficult to keep the boat warm. I can, but that involves running uh, a whole significant amount of heat. So a meal like this really comes in handy when it gets this cold. It's typically kind of warm in the day, but really cold at night. We just had a winter storm and uh, it's been getting down into the 20s and the teens at night. So uh, try not to keep the entire boat warm, just mainly where I stay at on the boat. So anyway, we have what we have here is called mirepoix, which is essentially uh, carrots, celery, onions, and that's in the culinary world referred to as mirepoix. Uh, don't know where they came up with that name, but they did. Uh, everything's getting kind of close to a boil nice and warm here. Got my chicken in there, three quarters of a gallon of water roughly. I don't know how many, I guess that's three quarts. And just going to get all of these in here, all my vegetables, and let it get up to a boil. This is what I like about using uh, chicken that's uh, skinless and boneless is this makes this very, very easy to put together. This is a real easy meal to make. Uh, I am going to make a uh, long version of this, which involves uh, making chicken stock. Ironically, the chicken stock uses pretty much the same ingredients as the actual chicken soup does. So, how I usually make chicken stock, if I'm going to make my own, is I'll take a uh, chicken and I'll cut it up for fryer pieces and uh, 
then what you're left with at the end of that is you're left with the uh, the carcass, you know, the, the back and all the bones associated with the backbone and everything. And it makes for a real good stock. You just put that in the water and uh, you add garlic and uh, celery and carrots and onion. But you don't have to chop them as finely as you do with an actual soup. And with the actual soup, you go a whole lot finer with your ingredients. And uh, normally I would just smack these, something like so. And that's that makes it real easy to get the sh outer shells off of the uh, garlic. And uh, then from there I'm just going to mince it up might have a bit much on the garlic so I might step back just a little bit on on this amount but uh, yeah once you've got all the paper off of there just pull that to the side and you just kind of run your knife through it mince it up both directions and then we're going to throw that in there as well it depends on how much garlic you like whether you want to put that in there or not I almost got my thumb on that one so, uh, you don't want any real big pieces, so you just mince it up tiny, just keep running your knife left and right through it, and uh, into the pot. Now we're pretty close to done uh, as far as that goes, except that it's going to have to cook off for quite a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish mincing this garlic, I'm going to rinse my hands because the garlic is... Uh, a little sticky and then I'm going to put two or three of these uh, chicken bouillon cubes in here. Oh and I need to add some salt and pepper. So let me grab my salt. Here we go. I'm using a nice sea salt. You can use uh, kosher salt anything but just regular salt. Now this is coming out pretty quick so I'm not going to overdo it on that. And for my pepper I'm just going to grind some let's see if I can get this to come out a little coarse. Just grind that into there. And all those vegetables pull my water down so it's going to have to get boiling again. Once it boils I'm probably going to simmer, simmer it for about a half an hour and I'm going to taste test it at that point. So while I'm here, let me go ahead and put two of these bouillon cubes in there. Now, some of the flavor is going to come out of the chicken, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, I would have preferred to use stock, but I realized that I didn't have enough stock for how much I was going to make here. So uh, we're just going to use bouillon cubes, and essentially what you do is you just kind of break them up, give them a twist and a squeeze, and they'll break up. Uh, got two here I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need three or four but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the chicken cook first and uh, then I'm gonna once I'm sure the chicken isn't raw maybe I'll give it a taste yeah I'm just gonna go in with three for right now that should be good and that's pretty much all there is to it once this gets to a rolling boil I'm gonna put a lid on it and Give it about a half an hour just to make sure everything's cooked through completely. And uh, you'll know when your vegetables are tender that, uh, that you're pretty much there. So that's really all there is to it. Got everything together. I'm just going to stir it and let it get to a boil. And once it's boiled, I'll turn it down and let it simmer. And we'll be back here shortly, or in about a half an hour. All right, it's been about 15 minutes or so. and. Uh, I checked everything and it looks like my chicken is uh, cooked and my vegetables have kind of softened but they're not real soft and what I even forgot to mention before is this is chicken noodle soup so I'm going to put some uh, wide egg noodles in there probably about a cup or so and give that a stir and then I guess in about eight minutes we'll be all set so uh, just stir those in and do that near the end. 
Now we'll put the lid back on and check it out in a few minutes. Be right back. Well, it's been 12 minutes and my noodles are seemingly done at this point. So uh, it, all that's left is to turn it off and put some in a bowl and check it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Really steamy. This is going to be really, really good because it's so cold tonight. That and it kind of stays cold. All right, got to get some broth in here. with that steam. Let's put this up here so you can have a look. And there it is folks. Uh, really really super simple homemade chicken soup and uh, we just uh, used a few different ingredients and some noodles and it is hot and it's going to burn my hands. I'm going to take a quick taste of this let you know what I think. Mmm, really good. Could use just a little bit more pepper, but of course, you know, garnish it to your own desire as to what you like in your soup. Once again, real easy homemade chicken noodle soup that uh, will keep you warm on a cold night. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you make this or anything like it. Let me know how it turned out in the uh, description down below. If you have any comments or uh, criticisms or whatever, I'd love to hear them. Uh, we look forward to uh, all comments. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.